This is a short tutorial on uh, AC and DC PMAs. An AC PMA would have three black wires coming out of the back of it. And uh, you can wire this directly to a three-phase grid tie. Make very sure it's a three-phase grid tie that has a dump load built in. If it doesn't have a dump load, I would not use it because uh, during a windstorm, the voltage can get so high on these that it can blow up the grid tie. This is a 48 volt model so when the wind's blowing about 30-40 miles an hour it's putting out about 200 volts which is enough to blow up a lot of grid ties. Now the ones that have the dump load built in are protected against that. Now a DC PMA just has a positive lug on the back and the whole body is negative ground. So you can attach uh, to this point with a 5 16 bolt you can attach to this point, you can attach over here to your mounting bracket and even the mounting bracket when it's touching the pole, the whole pole becomes negative ground. So it's just like a car, the negative is anywhere on the body, anything touching the metal is the negative ground. Now if you want to use the three phase for battery charging, you'll need one of these which is a three phase rectifier. And your three black wires, one, two, three, will go right here. One, two, three. And the DC will come out here. And if you can see this one's positive and this one's negative, there's a little mark on the pole. So usually the uh, left one is the positive and the right one is the negative. Now we have these little clips here we got from Windy Nation. And it makes the job a lot easier. They crimp onto the wires with a crimping tool and then they just fit right on the uh, rectifier posts. Uh, keeps it neat and simple and easy. Alright, that's a tutorial today for AC and DC uh, PMAs. I will add this. If you want power to travel a long distance, if you're far away uh, from your uh, garage or wherever the power is, you want to get a 48 volt model 48 volt models allow the power to travel farther. Getting a high voltage PMA, PMG is more important than it being AC or DC if you want the power to travel a long distance. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.